Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a hormone and a neurotransmitter. Um, so to put it simply, a hormone is part of the endocrine system. It's when a chemical messenger is released and transmitted through the blood. Uh, compared to a neurotransmitter, which is also a chemical messenger, but it is transmitted across the synaptic cleft at a chemical synapse. So it is part of the nervous system. Now, the question is, can one chemical be both a hormone and a neurotransmitter? And the, the answer is yes, of course it can be. Uh, there are many chemicals in the body that are used as both hormones and neurotransmitters in different places in the body. Um, so not all are used as both, but many are. So there are some chemicals that are only hormones, some chemicals that are only neurotransmitters, and some chemicals that function as both. Uh, so I give you a couple examples here. Norepinephrine uh, is a chemical that is the most common neurotransmitter in the sympathetic nervous system. So it is released by neurons. It crosses the synaptic cleft. Uh, takes place in chemical synapses, but it is also a hormone. It is secreted by the adrenal medulla, uh, and so then it is circulated in the blood, and that makes it also a hormone. Another example is dopamine. So it is a neurotransmitter that is used for many different functions in the brain. Uh, it's related to reward, memory, movement, motivation, and lots of other things, um, but it's also released as a hormone into the bloodstream. Um, in that context, Text, it's given a new name. It's called prolactin inhibiting hormone. It is the exact same chemical. It is still just dopamine, but in the endocrine context, we gave it a fancy new name, prolactin inhibiting hormone. Uh, it's secreted by the hypothalamus and its job is to inhibit prolactin release by the anterior pituitary gland. Uh, so there are many more examples that we could go through, but these are only two. Um, so just to clarify, whether a, whether a chemical is a hormone or a neurotransmitter is not about the chemical itself, because the chemical could be either one or both. It is about where it's used. So it's about whether it is secreted by a neuron and used in a synapse, or is it secreted into the blood and circulated throughout the body? So that is the big difference, regardless of what the chemical is that is being used in whichever way. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.